Ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to direct your attention to the fountain in the center of the square. We'll have our Lady of the Year announcement. Also a public service announcement. If you see where I'm standing, don't walk in front of the camera. See the camera, everybody see the camera? Don't walk in front of the camera, unless you're supposed to. <laughs> All right, I'll turn it over. Thank you very much. Okay. Would Mildred Fisher please come stand by me? Mildred, here we are. Okay, come stand right here. Okay. Good and close. Okay. All right, Xi Zeta Ada, the local chapter of Beta Sigma Phi, is proud to announce our Lady of the Year. It is now a 42-year custom, beginning in 1978. The Lady of the Year receives a cameo pendant, a certificate, and her name will be engraved on the Lady of the Year plaque, which is permanently on display at the Ida Long Goodman Library. Raised in Stafford County by her parents, Leva and Willard Sanders, Mildred is a lifelong resident of our community and a beloved music educator. As a child, she would reach through the slats of the crib to play with the keys on her mother's piano. Her mother told her if she was going to do that, she was going to have to learn to play, which prompted her first piano lessons. When Mildred was six years old, Mrs. Ira George came to her home in the country and charged 50 cents a lesson. In high school, she continued lessons with Melba Cornwell Budge as the teacher. While Mildred was still living at home, she began teaching piano lessons to her neighbor boys, Vernon and Jerry Menace. While in high school, she was an accompanist for the school choir and glee clubs. After graduating high school in 1947, Mildred attended Fort Hayes State, earning an emergency teaching certificate. She would attend college classes in the summer and teach in the winter. Mildred taught for three years at Green Valley School a one-room schoolhouse on Eden Valley Road, northwest of St. John. A local farm boy, Dale Fisher, came according, and in 1949, Mildred and Dale were married and started farm life east of St. John. They were wheat farmers, and Dale was proud of his Angus beef cow herd. They also raised two children, Donna Campbell, who passed away in 1981, and Larry Fisher, who built Fisher Service Center in St. John. Mildred and Dale also have five grandchildren, Troy Fisher, Andrea Long, Dustin Campbell, Wesley Campbell, Brett Campbell, and now there are eight great-grandchildren. An amazing fact about this family is that the fifth generation is now attending and will be alumni from the St. John school system. We are very happy when graduates are able to raise their families here. While being a young mother and farm wife, Mildred was a member of the Town and Country Mothers Club worked for Bill English at St. John Piano and Organ on the east side of our square, and played the piano at the First Baptist Church for 40 plus years. She has also played for soloists at both school and 4-H contests, many funerals, and special locations in our community. Mildred and Dale bought a home in St. John and in 1968, Mildred decided to offer piano lessons again. There have been numerous students, both children and adults, and she still has a list of all of them. 
As with everything in 2020, COVID paused her piano lessons. She enjoys spending time learning new music and playing her piano at home. She has had an inspiring life of sharing her musical talent with the community. Ladies and gentlemen, Zai Zeta Ada is pleased to honor Mildred Fisher as the St. John 2021 Lady of the Year. Congratulations, Mildred. Thank you for reading that. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you for your, to your family for helping me get this organized. Thank you for this honor. You are very welcome. Happy to have you. And thank you to Shepherd Center for filming this for us and everyone else. Thank you. Thank you.